Time, Time for, for another, another pop, pop review. review. Jinx. Jinx. No, you're, no, you're Jinx. Jinx. Stop. Stop. I picked up a pop today that I've been wanting them to make for quite a while and that is Jinx from Teen Titans Go. She's one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite cartoons of all time. I was really hoping that on the back of her box it was going to be revealed that they were going to make some of the hive because that would be nice to have the villains too but Jinx is the coolest hive member so I'm glad they made her. And it would be nice you know it would be cool if they made a beast boy in his gorilla form. Like, even if they just repainted, like, the 6-inch Gorilla Grodd and just called it Beast Boy, that would be kind of awesome to me. But yeah. Jinx, finally. And she's looking pretty good. Let's take her out of the box. I am really liking the stance they put her in and the way they made her eyebrows because she does look kind of, like, sassy and mischievous. Because she is a villain. She just likes being bad. And she's a sorceress. But yeah, look at that hair. Look how awesome that looks. They did a really, really good job with that hair. Yeah, one of my favorite parts of the show is Jinx and Raven's dynamic. Because they have similar powers and they're like sometimes friends and sometimes not. Like when they need a third member for Girls' Night Out, they go and break Jinx out of jail. It's kind of funny. The boys were correct about me lacking enough of the crazy. You just need a little guidance. If you let me out, I might be able to help. Yeah, right. There's no way in a million years we're letting you out of that. There you go! Just remember what I said about obliterating you. Yeah, eye beams. Got it. Now let's get crazy. Or sometimes Raven just goes to jail and just mocks Jinx for being in jail. Kind of cruel. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty hilarious. And yeah, like I mean, they got her costume just right, just how it is in the show. The only thing is I wish they maybe would have made her feet a little bit bigger because she does have like some really huge feet in the show. But yeah, the color of her skin looks really good. I'm glad they put the blush marks on her. I like that they outlined her whole eye in black. That looks nice. But yeah, the hair is awesome. That horned haircut is what's so distinct. And they did a really good job of that. And there's really no flaws. I mean, there's a little bit of paint bleed over onto the ear, but... Nothing bad at all. This is done really well. With these simple pops, they really have to get the paint right. And yeah, they got it just right. And she's definitely going to stand out with the rest of the Teen Titans. Really, really good. Hope they make the rest of the hive. Jinx is able to stand, but just barely. So she does come with a little stand. But that's why I wish they would have gave her bigger feet. Because she would have looked a little bit more accurate to the way she's drawn in the show. Plus, she would have been a lot more steady. Here she is next to the Raven Pop, and you can see how big her hair horns are. Really cool looking. She is a Toys R Us exclusive, so if you want to get her, I think she's still available on the website if you can't find her in the store, but she shouldn't be too hard to find. Toys R Us is doing a lot better job stocking their exclusives lately. Alright guys, thanks for watching and take it easy.